In Blasphemous 2, you are presented with three starting weapons to choose from, Veredicto, Sarmiento, and Centella, and Ruego al Alba. Each weapon has its own unique characteristics and playstyle. And in this guide, I will tell you more about each weapon. Let's start. The Veredicto is a powerful but slow mace that offers a long reach and the potential to stun enemies. It generates fervor with each attack and has a charged up skill called Thunder of Mercy. Additionally, you can activate Embers of Faith to ignite the mace with fire and spin it around to attack nearby opponents. The Sarmiento and Centella are double daggers, known for their speed and efficiency in eliminating foes. You perform a sacred thrust by pressing the corresponding button. They also have the ability to parry incoming attacks with the right bumper. The Ruego Al Alba is a single blade weapon that provides a balanced playstyle. It allows you to eventually heal yourself while wielding the blade through a blood pact. The sword features a downward thrust attack called Weight of Sin, activated by pressing down and the corresponding button. Like the other weapons, it can also parry with the right bumper. While you can obtain all three weapons during gameplay, the initial choice is important as it determines the weapon you will use until you unlock the second one. Considering your preferred playstyle, you should choose the weapon that best suits your preferences and combat approach. However, the game is nicely balanced, so there is no such thing as the best weapon. All weapons are good but just feature different styles of combat. And if you like my video, make sure to subscribe to my channel. There, I have many more guides on Blasphemous 2.